10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command to start. 2, 1, 0. Ignition. We have ignition of our BE3 engine. And liftoff. Mission Control confirms that New Shepard has cleared the tower and is headed to space. You can see on the lower left side of your screen that we're gaining speed. As New Shepard gains altitude, the atmosphere gets thinner. The graph on the left shows vehicle ascent. Now, we actually started at about 3,700 feet MSL. That's how far above mean sea level we are at launch site one. There it is, main engine cutoff, just over 2,200 miles per hour, and soon vehicle separation. Always love seeing us coast through Miko. Now, when the vehicles separate in the crew capsule from the booster, uh, we're going to be entering that phase of microgravity. And you can see that zero G indicator at the bottom of your screen. This is really where most of our payloads are getting into the core of their science mission. Oh, what a fantastic view. All sorts of cool experiments here enabled in microgravity in free fall. And fantastic. Capsule pausing in its upward journey just momentarily. Apogee for the capsule at 351,247 feet, well into space and over the Kármán line. Fantastic mission for our payloads on board today. And this is one of my favorite parts of observing a mission from West Texas. Those are the drag brakes. There they are deployed. And we see those aft fins steering the booster over the landing pad. Yeah, if you're in West Texas, you may be hearing a sonic boom uh, coming up here as we break through the sound barrier. BE3 engine relight, just 2,000 feet to go before the landing pad. Landing gear deploying. Oh, love that shot. I can't tell you how many people have told us they thought that this looks like uh, CGI, but indeed one of these most beautiful sh shots in the West Texas desert. And we have booster touchdown. Congratulations, New Shepard propulsion module and the BE-3 engine for providing just the right feathered thrust to come in for the nice hovering land. And again, that's the ninth flight for this booster, really showing the, the operational reusability of this system. And the thermal protection system. Oh, there we go. We've got main parachutes, three main parachutes on the crew capsule as it makes its descent back from space to Earth. And Erica, this retro thrust system is effectively high pressure gas um, that is fired off to make a cushion of air, a uh, soft landing for the crew capsule, but it kicks up some dust. There it is, touchdown for NS24 and our 33 customers and 38,000 postcards. What a journey. Special thank you to all of our customers flying important science and education on board today, especially to all the students who designed and built experiments.